Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. It's been a very active day, and that's not the only report of lightning we've had, right? Right, we had that report from Tupper Lake. Yeah. Two people struck just a short time ago this afternoon. So, of course, we have the heavy rain, the strong winds, but lightning is always a concern as well. So, yeah, just in the last 12 hours, we've had several reports of some strong straight line winds, some hail, but right in Tupper Lake, about 1220, right around noon this afternoon, we had a report of two people struck by lightning. So two injuries reported with this. Unfortunately, it's a sad story. And anytime uh, the thunder roars, that's why we tell you to go indoors because uh, lightning is always a concern when you're outside during an afternoon thunderstorm in the summer. So on radar right now, we have a severe thunderstorm warning with a tornado possible tag. This is into the Springfield area as well as Grafton. This is in Grafton County of New Hampshire. Goes until 645 this evening, so still for about the next 30 minutes or so. There's a lot of heavy rain and lightning with this, some gusty winds, small hail as possible as well. But I want to show you that there is a history of a little bit of weak rotation. You can see that with the green shading here, so areas like Grantham, and just north of Springfield, about to get into Grafton itself in New Hampshire, right on Route 4. So a little bit of weak rotation with this. And something else we look for, this is a measure of wind towards and away from radar. So this is relative to a radar in Portland, Maine, well off to the east. But the green shading is some wind coming towards the radar. So in other words, towards the east. And just to the north, you see this white, even reddish shade. So that's some wind uh, heading further from the radar. So there is a little bit of rotation that we're seeing right now, right into the Grafton area and some certainly some strong winds with this cell. So we're going to continue to keep eyes on it. Again, if there is a tornado warning, we'll keep you updated. Doesn't look like an imminent danger right now, but there is a little bit of rotation with that storm to be aware of. And a severe thunderstorm warning as well into Sullivan County, New Hampshire. So over Newport and Goshen right now, heading off to the east towards Newbury. This is in effect till 6.45 p.m. as well. And then we have this flash flood warning into the Rutland, Vermont area till 7 p.m. But a lot of the heavy rain has exited, so that's some good news. But we have seen about two to three inches over the course of the afternoon. So some street flooding has been ongoing in that area the last few hours. And on Storm Tracker right now, we have one last little band of some showers and thunderstorms into the Tri Lakes region, Tupper Lake, Saranac Lake, seeing some lightning strikes. But into the Burlington area, just a few light passing showers at this point. So things are gradually starting to wind down on Storm Tracker, but we still have a little ways to go with a few of the strongest storms out there. Temperatures have come down quite a bit where we've seen a lot of the rain this afternoon. So 60s for Montpelier, Lebanon into the Rutland area, sitting at 70 degrees right now at Burlington Airport. But those dew points have been pretty sticky in the mid to upper 60s. So that's provided some fuel for these downpours and storms. Timing things out on future casts, we continue to see any storms diminish through the evening. So we actually see some partial clearing coming in overnight, and it's a blend of sun and clouds through the day tomorrow. Very pleasant temperatures in the 70s and some lower humidity to go with it as well. Pretty similar deal on Sunday. We see a mostly sunny sky to start and a little more clouds filtering in later on in the day. Dew point levels will be much more pleasant this weekend, but they start to come up Monday and especially into Tuesday of the upcoming work week. So 10 day forecast has the storms kicking out of here and a lot of sun coming in for the weekend. Highs will be in the upper 70s to around 80. And then a lot of the work week coming up looks unsettled, kind of a daily chance for showers and storms and no big warm ups as we see highs in the upper 70s to low 80s. Brian Allison.